Hello, my name is Alberto Tampieri and I'm a postdoc researcher in materials chemistry at TUV. In our project, we aim to better understanding uh, the surface chemistry, the structure of spinel oxide nanoparticles. Industry can use these particles as catalysts for various processes, for example, in the water gas shift reaction, uh, which is one of the most important industrial reactions for hydrogen gas production. I will now show you how we prepare these spinel uh, nanoparticles of vari various compositions here in our labs, and I promise you a few spectacular videos of the reaction. Spinels are complex metal oxides with the formula AB2X4, where A is a divalent cation, B is a trivalent cation, and X is a calcogen anion, generally uh, oxygen 2 minus. A well-known spinel is, for example, magnetite or iron 304. Spinels come in two different configurations. There are normal spinels and inverse spinels. In normal spinels, such as uh, the cobalt 304, the divalent cations occupy tetrahedral sites in the lattice and the trivalent cations uh, occupy octahedral sites. Whereas in inverse spinels, such as the magnetite, the divalent cations are in the octahedral sites and the trivalent cations can occupy uh, both tetrahedral and octahedral sites. Additionally, there are cubic and tetragonal spinels, which have a different structure. We work with uh, transition metals of the fourth period, among which are manganese, iron, cobalt, nickel, uh, copper and zinc. My first task in the project is creating a library of spinels based on different metals combinations. We distinguish between the so-called uh, base metals and guest metals. The base metals can form uh, spinels by themselves if combined with oxygen, and these are uh, manganese, iron and cobalt. Guest metals, on the other hand, can form a stable uh, bimetallic spinels in the presence of base metals only. These metals are uh, nickel, copper and zinc. The table here uh, shows the main possible combinations of spinels uh, that can be formed from this selection of base and guest metals together with this configuration, uh, normal or inverse, and the crystal structure, cubic on tetragonal. Now comes the interesting part. How can we synthesize these materials? The synthesis of uh, spinel nanoparticles starts from a water solution of the metal's nitrate salts and a fuel. We use glycine as a fuel, which is actually an amino acid. With this, the reaction equation looks like this. At least this is what should be going on, ideally. The temperature at which the reaction runs depends on the amount of fuel added. We use three equivalents or five equivalents of glycine, and we carry out the combustion in air. The experimental setup for the combustion synthesis is very simple. So we have here a mixture of the uh, nitrate salts and the fuel. And here are uh, 50 milliliters of uh, the ionized water. So you just pour the water in the beaker. You add a steel bar. And you put it on the heating plate. Then you just set the heating to maximum and you also start stirring. We can categorize the various systems in different types of combustion. We subdivide the A-type combustion, which we call the mass, into two subtypes. In this type of combustion, we see eruption with uh, the ejection of powdery matter. So after the evaporation, uh, the combustion starts and there is a lot of powder that, that gets out of the beaker.
the A2 subtype combustion is very similar to the previous one, as it is also an eruption with uh, ejection of uh, matter, but in this case uh, the particles are much smaller, so it's particulate. And in this case also we see uh, very intense flames. We call the B-type combustion the dense. The B1 subtype combustion happens when uh, like a high loading of uh, glycine is used, hence the temperature reached is very high and uh, in the combustion process you form lava uh, and you produce very dense chunks of material. In the B2 subtype combustion uh, we also use a very high loading of uh, glycine, hence we form again lava and we produce a dense structure. Finally, type C is called the foam. Note the structure that appears to grow out of the combustion container. In the C1 subtype combustion, we form a low density pumice like uh, material. Finally, the C2 subtype includes uh, the most spectacular combustion, which is the formation of a foamy uh, column of matter that raises from the bottom. The results of the combustion are quite reproducible, uh, which is surprising considering that the combustions are out of control. As we can see from these micrographs, the solids produced with this method are very spongy, which is a desirable feature for a catalyst. However, the obtained products are not always pure spinels, and that is why for many of them the second step of the preparation is a calcination. The solids prepared in this way are used as catalysts in reactions such as the water gas shift reaction, and in this case uh, alcohol oxidation in the liquid phase. We introduce the catalyst in this cartridge, uh, then we seal it and we set up the reactor. The process works in flow using an aqueous solution of the alcohol to be oxidized with oxygen and uh, spinels containing cobalt as the main metal are especially good catalysts for the reaction. The science I showed here is ongoing within the collaborative research project Taming Complexity in Materials Modeling, or TACO for short, funded by the Austrian Science Fund.